When most people think about Wiccans, they think of devil worship, black magic, and curses. After all, don't Wiccans worship a horned god and cast spells? The answer is a little complicated. A Wiccan is less likely to look like this, and more likely to look like this. So where does the idea of Wiccans worshipping the devil come from, and why are some people so afraid of Wiccans? To answer these questions, we have to go back to when Wicca was founded. While many of the beliefs and rituals of Wicca come from ancient practices, the religion itself is very young. Wicca was founded by the Englishman Gerald Gardner in the 1950s. He's known as the father of Wicca. Gardner became involved with the British occult community and was particularly influenced by the work of historian and archaeologist Margaret Murray, who speculated that witches were not members of a satanic cult as was traditionally believed, but followers of a pre-Christian pagan religion. Many of her ideas were later discredited by scholars, but her work impacted Gardner's development of Wicca. The timing was perfect for him to share his views because right about then, Britain repealed the laws banning the practice of witchcraft. The association with ancient spiritual practices gave Gardner's new religious movement an aura of authenticity and historical continuity. It suggested that Wicca was not a new religion, but a surviving branch of an ancient tradition. This helped Wicca gain acceptance among followers and the broader public. By now, it's clear that at its very foundation, Wicca has nothing to do with Satanism. So how did Wicca become associated with devil worship? This is linked to how witches were viewed by Christians. During the medieval and early modern periods, there was a widespread belief in a diabolical witchcraft conspiracy. The idea was that witches had entered into a pact with the devil. Anyone could be accused of being a witch. Many were identified by something as random as a mole, birthmark, or a weird-shaped scar. This panic led to the persecution of people who were supposed to be witches. This is where we get the term witch hunts from. At this point, we need to clear up the misconception that all Wiccans are witches. Witchcraft and Wicca are two different spiritual traditions. Okay. So we know that Wiccans don't have any historic associations with Satanism, but what about their rituals and practices? Do these have anything to do with the Christian devil? When we look into the actual practices and beliefs of Wicca, not only are they benign and peaceful, but they also promote ethical behavior and living in harmony with nature. Wicca doesn't have a central sacred text like the Christian Bible or the Islamic Quran, but rather a range of sources that offer guidance. Most Wiccans adhere to the Wiccan Read, an ethical code that states, and it harm none, do what ye will, which essentially gives a Wiccan the freedom to act as long as it's balanced by the responsibility that their actions cause no harm. Central to Wiccan belief is the worship of the divine. This brings us to the Horned God. The Horned God is one of the primary deities in Wicca associated with nature, wilderness, sexuality, hunting, and the life cycle. He is often depicted as being the male counterpart to the female triple goddess who is his equal. While the horned god does have horns, this doesn't mean he is a symbol of evil. The horns are symbolic of the deity's connection with animals and the natural world. This is very different from Christian interpretations of horned figures, which often associate horns with the devil and evil. Wiccans hold a deep respect for the natural world. They believe in the interconnectedness of all life and often see the divine manifested in nature. For example, Wiccans engage in activities that align with the seasons. This can include harvesting herbs, planting seeds, foraging in nature, or participating in community cleanups. During the full moon, Wiccans often gather to perform special rituals. They may hold ceremonies outdoors if possible under the moonlight. These rituals involve connecting with the lunar energy, offering gratitude, performing divination, and working with the heightened magical energy of the full moon. Many Wiccans also believe in the use of magic and spells for love, healing, protection, and abundance. Wiccan magic involves manipulating energy to achieve desired outcomes, but as always, it should be in line with the Wiccan read. While these rituals may be intimidating to those who aren't familiar with them, there's no indication that any of these has anything to do with devil worship or evil in general. Granted, seeing a group of people celebrating Midsummer may evoke memories of Hollywood horror. In reality, though, 
It's just an expression of Wiccan spirituality and reverence for nature. Coming back to our original question, it's clear that much of the fear surrounding Wiccans, witches, and pagans in general arise from a misunderstanding or misrepresentation of their beliefs and practices. Wiccans do not worship the devil, nor is Wicca a form of Satanism. Labeling Wiccans as devil worshippers is a misconception that often arises from a particular interpretation of Christian beliefs. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.